Hey, Scott Lara, the cruisegenius.com. This video brought to you by GigSky. GigSky.com. If you're looking for a data plan when you cruise or when you travel overseas, you don't need to get a separate SIM card and plug it in your phone. Go to GigSky.com and you can get a data plan there with your built-in eSIM in your phone. Email me, slara1961 at gmail.com. Promo code, super secret link for 10% off your Gig Sky data plan. I've been a travel agent for over 15 years and I've never booked anybody on a cruise coming from the UK, being a UK citizen, God save the queen. So anyway, I wanna to talk to you about what travel documents do you need to go on a cruise in the US if you're a UK citizen. And I'm gonna read this so I don't mess it up and you can look at this in the description. So you should have a British citizen passport that's valid for more than six months after the duration of the cruise. More than six months after the duration of the cruise. You should also have at least two blank pages in the back of your passport. Some copies require you take a photocopy of your passport as well as the original passport. So, you know, go to Copy Max or wherever, I don't know if you have copy Max in the UK. Go somewhere and get a copy of it. You're going to need to apply for an ETSA or an electronic authorization to visit the USA or Canada, which is a visa-free authorization to enter a country for tourism purposes. Many cruise lines have visa partners who can make applications for you if there's any additional visas you may need. You should also ensure that you've taken out proper cruise travel insurance for your trip in case of any unforeseen circumstances. Now, you don't need a visa or ETSA to go on a Caribbean cruise as you can enter visa-free. Instead, you only need your passport. However, if you're going to be in transit or setting off from a U.S. port, you must apply for an ETSA for entry to the United States. So this is something you're gonna to wanna to research also on your own. These are just some things I got off the internet. I think it'd probably be safer to get that ETSA just to make sure that you are good to go. You don't want any problems. And of course, you know, contact your travel agent. Uh, they should know also. Uh, or you can even call the cruise lines, you know, call uh, Norwegian or Holland America or Carnival and ask them, hey, I'm a UK citizen. I wanna make sure all my ducks are in a row because the last thing you wanna do uh, is, you know, like John Heald, the senior cruise director over there at um, Carnival, you know, he's a UK citizen. He flies over to the US all the time and gets on cruises. So that if you're a UK citizen looking to go on a cruise, this is gonna be important. Again, take a look at that ETSA. I would get that just, just to have it, because let me give you an, another example of like documentation, right? So many, parents are single parents or they're they have joint custody with a child right so let's say you got timmy he's seven years old mom and dad are divorced and dad dad wants to take timmy on a cruise or take him to uh, cancun uh, for an all-inclusive resort vacation make sure you have a signed notarized piece of paper you know, a minor consent form, something like that. Get with your lawyer and say, hey, listen, I want to make, <laughs> listen, if you're divorced and you got joint custody of kid, you got a lawyer. So call that lawyer and say, hey, listen, I'm taking Timmy to Cancun. I'm taking Timmy to Jamaica. I'm taking Timmy on a cruise. Having that document is critical because maybe nine times out of 10, you know, the person behind the desk will not ask for the paper. But I'll tell you, one time out of 10, that person may be having a bad day. Hey, Mr. Smith, hey, Mr. Smith, uh, can I see your uh, minor uh, authorization, your, your joint custody? May I have your form, you know, to, you know, because I understand, uh, listen, I'm gonna say it just to say it, child trafficking, you know, all this kind of stuff. You, you gotta be, you know, cognizant, you gotta be mindful of that. So what I'm saying is, single dad, single mom, if you're taking Timmy or Brittany on a cruise or to a resort, have that documentation. Uh, just, just have it in your back pocket, just in case that person behind the desk says, hey, hey I need your, uh, your authorization form. Well, 
here you go. Look, it's notarized. My wife signed, my ex-wife signed it. Um, it's notarized and we're good to go. Scott Lair, the cruise genius.com. Like, and subscribe, uh, email me S 1961 at gmail.com. If you want to go on a cruise, <laughs> if you're a UK citizen and want to go on a cruise, uh, and for information on gig sky, have a great weekend. Scott Lair, the cruise genius.com. Like, and subscribe.